Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the complete installation process of the Carla Autonomous Driving Simulator on Linux. Now let's start with the installation. First, open your browser, go to Google, and type Carla Simulator. Click on the official Carla homepage. Here, you'll find all the information you need, latest releases, tutorials, documentation, and papers. Carla is an open source simulator designed for research and development in the field of autonomous driving. Recently, Carla released version 0.10.0, and it's now based on Unreal Engine 5.5, bringing massive improvements in visuals and performance. Carla is packed with powerful features. It uses a server multi-client architecture. Let's head over to the documentation page and see how we can install it. Before we start, check which version of the documentation you are using. I'm using the latest version here. Also, note that this tutorial is based on Unreal Engine 4. There is a recent release of Carla that supports Unreal Engine 5.5. If you're interested in that, there's a separate link for it. But for now, we'll focus on Unreal Engine 4. Installation options. Carla can be installed either using a quick installation or by building it from source. This tutorial covers building Carla from source. We'll focus on the Linux build. A link for the Windows installation video is in the description below. This guide has two main parts, prerequisites and building Carla. The build process is quite long and may take up to four hours or more. Part 1. Prerequisites. First, let's check the system requirements. You need at least Ubuntu 16.04 or higher. I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. You'll also need around 130 gigabytes of disk space for Carla and Unreal Engine. An adequate GPU like an NVIDIA GTX is recommended for realistic simulation. And of course, a good internet connection. There's a warning if you're upgrading Carla from version 0.9.12 to 0.9.13, you must upgrade Unreal Engine as well. But since we're doing a fresh installation, that won't be an issue. Carla requires many software packages. I have my terminal open side by side with the documentation, so I'll copy and paste commands line by line. This may take some time depending on your internet speed. The first set of commands installed successfully, so let's move forward. The next commands depend on your Ubuntu version. Be sure to select the correct ones for your system. Skipping this can cause build errors. Let me check my Ubuntu version by running lsb release a As you can see, I'm on Ubuntu 24.6 LTS. I'll use the commands for this version. Now I'm pasting the commands one by one to install necessary packages like git and others. I ran into a small network issue with sudo apt update, but it's fixed now so I'm running the update command again. I'll fast forward through the rest of the installation commands so you don't have to wait. Checking and updating pip. Next, check the pip version on your system. Depending on your Python version, run either pip3v or pip-v. I'm using Python 3.8, so I'll use pip-v. Carla requires pip version 20.3 or higher, but mine is 20.0.2, so I need to upgrade pip. Upgrading pip is simple. Just run pip3 install upgrade pip. Let me upgrade it now. Now my pip is upgraded to 25.1.1. I've also opened a new terminal because I made some changes to my bashrc file. Next, install the Python dependencies. Some of these might already be installed, but it's safe to run all the commands from the documentation. I think everything required, like audit wheel and setup tools, is now installed.
Now comes the next big part, installing Unreal Engine. Carla uses a specific fork of Unreal Engine. To clone it, you need to connect your GitHub account with your Unreal Engine account. It's very easy. There's a link in the documentation and also in the video description if you need help. After linking your accounts, you can clone the Unreal Engine repository. To keep things tidy, I'm creating a new folder called Simulation. I'll navigate into this folder and run the cloning command provided in the documentation. You may be asked to log into GitHub with your username and a token. I'll do that quickly now. The cloning starts. And it's finished. Go to the Unreal Engine root folder and run the setup command. This process is long and can take one to three hours. I'll fast forward this part in the video. Remember, at some point a pop-up will appear asking you to register Unreal Engine. Just say yes. Once Unreal Engine is installed, we can check if it works by launching it. Navigate to the folder shown on the screen and open the Unreal Engine executable. The first launch may take some time to initialize and load. This step is important to make sure Unreal Engine runs without any issues. Try creating a new project just to test it. Once loaded, navigate around the editor to check for any lag or graphics issues. In my case, everything works perfectly. Now let's move to part two of this tutorial. The documentation says to install Area 2. Let's do that now. After that, clone the Carla repository. Note that we are cloning the Unreal Engine 4 branch, not Unreal Engine 5. You can check the cloned Carla version with the command git describe tags. Mine shows Carla version 0.9.15. Downloading assets. 
To download assets from the cloud, run the update as each script from the Carla root folder. This will take some time as it downloads the contents and extracts them to the correct folders. The documentation also explains how to download assets for specific versions if needed. Thus setting environment variables. Next, set the Unreal Engine environment variable. Open your .bashrc file and add the line to set UE4 root to your Unreal Engine folder path. Save it and open a new terminal to apply the changes. Check if the environment variable is set by running echo UE4 root. You should see the Unreal Engine folder path printed. Now we can build Carla. There are two parts, compiling the client and compiling the server. Start by running make Python API. This will generate .egg and .whl files. You can read more about these in the documentation. You can run make Python API with different Python versions if needed. I just ran it with the default settings, which is enough. This process will take some time, so let's wait for it to finish. After it finishes, check that the .egg file exists inside the Carla folder. If it's there, you're ready to proceed.
Now run Make Launch. This will take some time on the first run as it launches Carla along with the Unreal Engine editor, loading all maps and blueprints. The Town 10 map loads and shaders start compiling. My recommendation, wait until shader compilation finishes to avoid issues. Sometimes Unreal Engine may hang or become unresponsive. Just be patient, it will recover. Also, on the first launch, Unreal Engine might crash. If that happens, simply restart it. This is normal. So that's how you install Carla on your system. You can launch it anytime by running Make Launch. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more Carla tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. See you in the next tutorial.